Recently, I haven't addressed this properly, so I'm going to give it to you straight. I need more Patreon support. It no longer covers everything. It did for four or five months, but since then, ad revenue on YouTube has decreased around £500 per month. I'm telling you this figure because honesty has always done me good with my viewers. I really need to increase Patreon support massively. I give tons in return. I stay away from sponsorships and eventually I'll reduce ads massively. But I really need all the help and support I can get on all levels of Patreon. Sorry for the longer message, but it's genuinely urgent and a quick 20 seconds isn't going to cut it. Thank you. Link below if you love what I do and want to see it continue. Rare win here for no recap, allowing for an extra long episode. It's a new video, it's a new scene of Chopper being cute, it's a newly needed win. I just understood what was happening. He's getting so many compliments, he's about to explode. Classic Chopper telling him to go away whilst offering him a drink and sliding the chair out for him. I love how Vivi basically filled in this doctor on Chopper's ways prior to the conversation so he doesn't take offense or get confused. Bless her heart! She's amazing. She's a princess and yet doesn't think twice about nursing them all back to health. The scenes of the city where life is getting back to normal, damage is being repaired and the people are working together in order to get it all done. Actually take another one here for the fact that Oda even thought to include this. Easily could have shipped them off to the next location in the story, but instead he beautifully wraps up his arcs. <laughs> they even touch on damage that was caused by our crew whilst trying to find the bomb before. <sighs> Another episode of Everything Great About where Zoro continues to prove how he's one of the coolest anime characters, or manga really, to have ever been created in the history of cool. I've been going on about this forever and I'm doing it again. It's hard to describe, but other long anime, the people seem to have basic personalities, saying much the same thing all the time. Not here. Two wins, as you can imagine, obvious one first, they're risking themselves by sheltering the crew, but do it happily. But also I really enjoyed this little moment where they just walk past them. Brought such a big smile to my face seeing Luffy waking up so full of energy like this and being so happy. <laughs> Luffy getting his hat back and a nice story of a guard finding it and returning it for him. <laughs> Chopper is so cute, it still literally causes me harm. <laughs> Not literally though. <laughs> but the main win is for Zoro's change of clothes. Glad that tradition has continued still. <laughs> So very random. <laughs> it's hectic as always, but lovely to see them able to eat their fill. Also for the first time in ages, unless you count the third movie, where Luffy ate a record amount of fruit. <laughs> Nami punching his cheek there really tickled me for some reason. <laughs> Lash is getting involved in loving the prank there. <laughs> it's really sweet that whilst the guards are disliking what is happening, Vivi is taking it all in her stride and laughing because all is well and she knows them too. Oh heck yes, that's even better how they go from anger, to hiding their laughter, to outright laughing along with everyone. I have no clue what started it, but Zoro has been straight up lovely to Chopper this entire saga since they met, and I for one have loved to see it! Vivian Nami in the bath scene! Okay, first of all, I'd pay that, and... 
This is something that happened in this anime. But mainly, massive credit for this, I do believe different to, well, everyone ever. I've played games, I've watched anime, it's guys peep, girls throw stuff and get mad. This is unreal, Max wins! Easy win for how close she has become with the crew that she obviously hates the idea of leaving them behind, which is so sweet and sad for me as you know it's coming. This was so sweet, so unexpected and so backed up by a beautiful track that it brought a tear to my eye. I love this king, the way he has always thought about things in such a unique way and about life. This is because he was told the king should never bow to anyone and he replies with this. Right away doing an amazing job of adding some tension as we find out the marines are really stepping up their efforts to catch them before they can depart the island. Luffy is now 100 million! He saves a country and gets his amount increased! Also adding an extra element by essentially talking about much stronger foes in the navy now coming after them. I've been sadly waiting to win this moment for like 40 plus episodes, but yes. The moment Vivi is left behind and officially leaves the crew. She was a fantastic main character for this saga. Bless her. Oh my god. I'm stunned. Suddenly these two are back. Django, who was part of Kuro's crew, and Full Body, who Sanji messed up first at the restaurant. I can't believe it. Especially Django. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so yeah. Oh, you can so hear that that is Bon Clay now that I've noticed it properly. Just take a win for that Sega sounding music playing as they dance having taken over a pirate ship. <laughs> Take another one here because I just find it so damn awesome how Oda suddenly includes in the main story no less, not a filler or side content, these characters of the past. So good. I always like this about Sanji, how he's more than willing to do his job and expand his horizons. He's got no issues cooking this food that Luffy enjoys so much. Chopper showing concern for Nami, who is clearly really starting to miss Vivi and hating the idea of leaving her behind. Also, Luffy doing the same thing but in a more funny way, offering a single piece of meat to cure her woes as always. She's thinking about the money. Which, in fairness to her, it was agreed upon, kinda I think, in principle maybe, and they did just save the day, so in fairness to her, it's, it's not out of character. She knows them too well that they'll be happy about the high bounty. Them sleeping together with her likely feeling rather lonely after sleeping around so many people and so much noise for so long. <laughs> Oh, the really cute way she's remembering the crew here. Oh, snap! This is way sooner than I had expected. Let's go! Had to give one for Sanji getting annoyed so quickly and hanging up. That is so damn good there from Chopper. I was thinking the same thing myself. The comedy is still too good. Half the win is because that's a great plot twist. The other half is because it now makes sense why the boat disappeared. Mina. 
It breaks my heart that in this moment she was legit torn between continuing as the princess of this country, one day ruling it, or going with her friends here. She's so sweet. I really like how it wasn't the case that everyone gave her a big hug and said goodbye, but instead she was given the freedom and opportunity to make her own choice here, which is great, I think. I am very, very much guessing strongly that she doesn't come along, so when is needed for showing how much thought she put into it, that's for sure. Being nice to animals is always a win. So nice how that's kept on happening through this saga, giving thanks to the animals who've helped them along the way so many times. <laughs> Saying such a heartfelt goodbye to the crew, super randomly, since it wants to come along right now. God, I love little moments like this. Zoro asking him to move and he shifts along. That is so good! <laughs> to his credit, he makes an excellent point here that does bring him closer to the crew. Had he not done this, they would have easily surrounded it and they'd have been in for a fight leaving. <laughs> Man, that made me laugh. How quick they forgave him and went back to dancing again in unison. <laughs> this! But also, I forgot to mention uh, how, again, realism was shown to us by getting to see tons of supplies being brought onto the ship. Oda never forgets that! <laughs> Very cute looking Vivi as a pirate! This one should be rather obvious. <laughs> Animating multiple characters all moving within this gorgeous looking panning shot. This is clever, giving a leader a way to communicate with everyone in their country. <laughs> Genuinely shocked that all of a sudden the crew have been thrown into a battle at the start of the episode? Getting this wider look at the whole battle but also a better understanding of how the navy can deal with powerful enemies by using clever tactics like this. One, two. As always, it's such an easy win when we're showing the crew running around and doing the job. Also credit to the voice actor here for voicing both Bon Clay and Django in the same episode, and to be fair to his talent, different sounding voices. He's so full of it, but randomly really is so good at using a cannon for some unknown reason. Such a good callback to when it happened, even before the arc where we met Sanji. I'm not sure how Oda is going to work this out, but for now, very easy win. That Bon Clay ship is still around, and his crew too, and they're just helping out. That's so awesome! This great looking view of her ship and how it was done. Two wins again, firstly Bon Clay is really trying to get them to safety and that's worth a win. I knew he was unique when I first met the guy, definitely not a typical villain type. But also this understanding of why they refuse to leave, just in case Vivi does turn up and they can't risk not being there themselves. Bless their collective hearts! Well that was an unexpectedly beautiful moment. Of course the music always helps, always gets me, but it's him understanding what they do for their friends, what friendship means to them, and it hit him. <laughs> ah, they snuck in another load of people all looking different before ending the arc. 
往年の王妃様と見まがいましたぞビビ様いえお父様イガラム A lovely comment there further serves to just fill in a little backstory for her without it becoming exposition. I got a lot of them. Two wins here. Firstly, this very quick rotating shot. Secondly, it's because once more I'm shocked. I figured this'd be a logical time for Oda to write him out of the story for now, since they're hanging around, but instead he is sticking with them. Yeah! So I got! They. They double plot twisted me into a pretzel! He let them take his ship in order to go and meet up with their friend. They have a new ship, it's too much for me! <laughs> they triple plot twisted me! Mugi chan tachi no tomodachi. <laughs> I'm at a point where I really hope I see more of him in the future. All prior shocked wins aside, it's clear he risks this close engagement in order to allow his friends to leave. That means a lot. Felt the need to play it first and then talk over it because that blew me away as a visual. Not only a unique angle, but seeing everyone there watching him, the lighting. Perfect! He can have one more for that, as a guy who jokes so often and is so over the top. In this moment, he was deadly serious, and with that music backing him, I was left feeling so damn impressed. Not making it a totally one-sided affair where her forces destroy theirs, but instead having it be competitive here. Luffy's genuine concern there. It's a fine thing, really, that Oda can make you root for someone who was an enemy just a few episodes ago, wanting him to do well in this battle. These final very poetic words from a man who may well have given his life in exchange for Luffy and the crew, all in the name and the ideal of friendship. Take that win. I can't tell you how much I appreciate older storylines getting explored further, even if just a little bit at a time. Oddly specific win, but this moment just had me thinking of the end of the first Trails in the Sky game, where finally things are settled and peace has returned. Ah, oh, good times. So damn good you show it and then speak. A sight like that gets seen twice. These animators sure knew how to create a crowd. My god, even from the back, there's so many unique sights among the people. Different hats. Sounds crazy, but that's work, bruh. Also, I'm giving another. I love My Hero Academia, I do. But season two, the tournament arc, had about three or four big crowd sights for like six episodes, and they reused them over and over with stick figures. Compare that to this. Seeing Koza and his old man healthy and happy is so easily worth another win. <laughs> I dare say Oda will end this arc and saga better than any before at this rate. To hear her poetic words over the visage of our heroes fighting their way free, it was this crew who did it all. I'm so glad that they got to hear her words as well in the end. Oh, bless him, man. It hurts that he was so sad that he wanted to dock and go look for Vivi. He's so innocent sometimes. What? What the hell? Epic plot twist suddenly. Let's proceed with caution together. Take my hand. Normally, they'd never get a win, but him saying, Oh, 
they could throw pretty far. Just utterly got me. There's no way, obviously, that she's coming with them, but it makes for such a beautiful send-off. Another one coming at ya? That lovely looking rotating shot only aided the last win too. <laughs> Look at Chopper! <laughs> oh, that look on Luffy's face going from a smile to losing it. <laughs> oh no, Chopper's little face there dropping too, but also her using this system, talking to everyone in the country just to say goodbye to them, shows how much they mean to her. Everyone trying to be kind of angry down below, but can't help laughing at what he's doing up there. <laughs> Easy two max wins for her heartfelt goodbye to the Straw Hats. Full of tears as she wonders if they meet again, will they still be friends? <laughs> Sadly, Luffy cannot even answer her properly because the Navy have caught up and taken notice too. So credit here to Oda for creating anything but a normal goodbye. <laughs> oh hell yes, an even easier Max 2 wins for coming up with that way of saying goodbye by saying she's one of them, always, without having to outright say it. Damn, that is good. And then the scene ends up looking even cooler as the Navy begins shooting at them like this. Good to see that people did survive the battle at sea and hopefully that means Bon Clay also did. I have hope. <laughs> First of all, it was pretty awesome to see a prisoner try and get free in order to take someone out in the Navy. Up till now, a prisoner was just that, a prisoner. Secondly, the scene itself was well done, with him running at her, her dodging, and then hitting him. And lastly, another new and unique ability, Oda! It wouldn't be One Piece without them giving us yet another crowd of people all looking different to boot. Mine sounds silly, but they only went and gave us the same crowd after this animated one briefly, and this time, they're all smiling. So, same people had to be done smiling afterwards again. Really glad people like this aren't forgotten about. They did the same thing with Nami's mother back in the Arlong arc. I'm so gonna remember this old man, just like many of the characters that have meant something to me along the way. Also, Oda doing this has the excellent advantage of furthering world building too, because even though our heroes are gone, it's almost as though life continues on in this country. Even if it's only briefly, getting to see these lads again, who bravely fought for the town when pushed to greatness. And these hilarious girls again, plus the crew of this ship, another win coming at you as well! Felt the need to give major props for how many unique characters were brought into the story, all having a real impact in one way or another. Amazing stuff to be honest. Small win, but very happy he escaped. After everything he did, he didn't deserve to have to be taking these guys on. Funny enough, I gave a samey win when Koza and his father set off to found Yuba and impressively brought tons of equipment and supplies. Now Oda has done the same thing here. Lashes is still doing good, this comment was funny, and again, giving thanks to those who helped them along the way. Oh my goodness, it's Pell. I had a feeling he might still be alive, thankfully. Let's go! No, no, no. When 
you've got three freaks like these guys arming them with these massive metal poles is a huge mistake on the Navy's part. One more maybe for Vivi. I am so going to miss her in this story. Everyone working together to repair the ship and also get it going again and moving in a brand new direction. And a final art style change to really solidify them into our memories. This scene between her and Smoker where he explains a little more of Zoro's past to her. And I, for one, am going to be seriously looking forward to that happening. These are not characters I want to ever just see disappear from the overall story. What an absolutely brilliant way to show their sadness for her having left the group, whilst also making me laugh so hard that they're all lined up like that, all sad. <laughs> These replies to his statement, but best of all, was Chopper's there. <laughs> that comment needed its own win. This is an insult in Luffy's mind, or at least what he could quickly come up with. <laughs> This is where I give my shocked win, had I not seen it ages ago on my anime list. What? <laughs> She's awesome though, really glad she joins them. <laughs> Even though quite a bit of it is treated as comedy, the fact that they all come to arms so quickly is always worth a win in my book. <laughs> that. I do find myself agreeing with Sanji yet again. <laughs> well done, totally got me that Usopp is so casually talking through a megaphone telling her to leave the ship. The present day's events make a lot more sense when you're shown this, and it shows that Nico, or Robin, not sure which name I'll use mostly, saved Luffy's life from the poison. Bit long to show, but he says, why did you tell Crocodile only history was written on the stone? So the win is absolutely for her also protecting the secrets from him at the time, to her credit. Third thing to her credit, which Oda uses to help us accept her to the crew, is that without her, Crocodile would have gotten his hands on the weapon and everything may have changed. The continued expansion of the law, again, like I said before, really opening up things in the world now in big ways. At the same time, we learn more about her, and also she's given a life goal that we're now made aware of, something she can fight for alongside the crew. <laughs> How casually Luffy saved them both here is one of the reasons he means so much to me. <laughs> that? That is actually a fantastic reply from him, rather than him using poetic words to try and sway her mind. Someone who at this point to him is kind of still an enemy too, don't forget. <laughs> Luffy and his great personality, but most of all, the official joining to the Straw Hat Pirates of Robin. I think I'll use Robin, I like that. Already playing games together like this is good to see. They did the same thing with Bon Clay originally, but also it's a real team building element too. Plus Chopper laughing is heaven! Also though, she's definitely cute. Really glad she's on board, I cannot lie. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable! Still kind of shy around people and easily freaked out. And it shows how much he trusts Luffy since he's happy to hide behind him. 
私が生まれた家は。Oh, that's actually really awesome that that is her main job. I really like that and her. おかげで裏で動くのはずいぶんとうまくなったわ。きっとあなたたちのお役にも立てるはず。<laughs> Two wins here, firstly, learning more about her past in such a natural and organic way, which I'll cover next. And of course, the way we're learning about it is great, because naturally, you would want to question someone like this to ensure you can trust them, even if just a little bit at first. <laughs> <laughs> Usopp having some of the greatest reactions in all of One Piece here. Again, Usopp there, but most of all, the realism that of course not everyone is straight on board. I mean, <laughs> it'd be silly to just ignore that, wouldn't it? <laughs> the comedy has been nothing short of godlike this past saga. It's amazing how much his comedy bone grew as he kept writing the series. I only hope the same is true into the future as well. Well, I'm sold. Another great end to an episode, and fairly shocking as well. He clearly wasn't intending on hiding his having survived, not sure why I thought he was. Another episode with no recap, but lots of juicy content for us. <laughs> this just feels like something Luffy would absolutely do, climbing in there with Usopp and crushing him whilst he sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> Can't ignore that. Oda really keeps on giving us masses of land that look nothing like anything we've seen before. Can't believe they animated that! <laughs> Nami proving in this filler why she so often takes charge in giving out tasks to everyone. These are the kind of things I like in filler episodes, bringing up something that is so true to herself and her passion that she hasn't been able to do in a while. As cute as he is here, again the win is a similar one I gave out during Drum Island, where I think it's clever how they split up and do different things like collecting food and him watching the ship. All hail the great Captain Chopper! That's amazing. All the time he was doing that, she was down there reading. I think a lot of us have been in somewhat similar types of situations in life. Instead of this being like filler I've heard about in other anime where it's 100% different to what comes before and after the canon storyline, I like how this has continued from the last episode. I mentioned before about loving how Nami has her own garden upon joining, and then recently Usopp having a workshop, and now I see that Chopper has his own area for medicine. <laughs> what a really lovely choice for a filler episode. Hopefully this is the case for all of them this filler arc, but it's great to see more of her again and his past. Also, I just wanted to say no win here, but this filler series was voted in with 77% of 124 people saying yes. I'm hoping the start got a lot of you to choose to support me, but if not, I hope that gets you there. To be able to vote in filler and movies and normal anime and watch early access and more as you go up the tiers, please check it out. Love you all. Obviously it's a small thing, but I still liked seeing how he accidentally created the balls he uses in combat. His comment there and how he says it is super sweet, but so is her just casually listening to him back there. 
<laughs> First of all, it's nice to see her smiling, even though we accidentally ruined her coffee, which was almost ready. But second, she has such a genuinely heavenly type of laugh to her. I adore it. I really do. I love it. There's few things cuter in this anime than this. Okay, I spoke too soon. That is one of the most cute things in all of anime. What a lovely personality quirk. <laughs> Not walking on the chopper getting water for Robin's coffee spot. I'm going to make this a thing when someone new joins and they get their own poster. Take that win. <laughs> Luffy making instant friends with animals that are kinda like himself? <laughs> His trope of lying hasn't actually come about in any huge ways lately, so it was nice to see a little bit of it drift by here for a moment, I won't lie. And Zoro. Well, it doesn't even matter if it's a filler or not, he's just insanely cool regardless. I liked this because it was almost as though she wanted the chance to get a little closer to him and show her true side and that she isn't scary or something. For a filler, they make a genuinely great point here for her character that I hadn't considered. Being part of that group meant never showing your true self. She's done that a few times already now. Literally a win for showing more of this place again and hearing that beautiful music once again. Now that was unexpected to have happened all of a sudden. Now this is the kind of background I enjoy seeing. Nothing silly or anything, just learning who his first patient was and it was her of all people. <laughs> the voice actress really did a great job of carrying across Chopper's feelings to her as a teacher, I must say. Chopper, <laughs> There was a couple of firsts this flashback for Chopper, including a seriously rare compliment from her. What's lovely is that she really listened to him and heard what he had to say and took something away from that. I liked that. This simple scene kind of tells us about their current dynamic. Perhaps she doesn't feel entirely welcome yet, or maybe she just likes her alone time and to herself, but it's displayed here either way. <laughs> really nice to get a scene, the first in a while, where everyone is relaxing by the fire, eating and chatting like this. Makes me feel all warm inside. <laughs> This lovely moment, just knowing he felt connected to her in some way by the end and didn't hate his day. Zoro being Zoro in the most awesome of ways. <laughs> Things like this are actually some of my favourites in the series. It's when we get this downtime and Nami is focused on what's out there at sea, Zoro is working out and they're fishing. These two still believing things that Usopp says won't ever not get a win for the sheer cuteness of it. <laughs> the size of it. Glad it wasn't just Little Garden and the previous country which introduced us to so many wild and wonderful different kinds of creatures. Well, at the very least, 100% not what I had expected from this moment, so there's that. He's great with helping out animals he comes across. Hey. 
Chopper using what looks to be an ab roller is not something I knew I needed in my life. I look forward to when this is addressed, as she had brought it up more than once since we met her, and clearly she has some interest in the name that will likely be intriguing to hear about. It is nice to be reminded that this is her job and that she is really good at it. Loving this song, by the way. Not sure I've ever heard that. Transports me straight into an old school RPG. Putting an actual logical reason behind why she hasn't had any time to do her side work and now setting off to do just that for the places they visited. That's brilliant for a filler. Her goal being the focus again of this filler. Glad it was voted in now when things like this are covered in events in the last episode too. The two most powerful and coolest dudes on the ship fighting! Baby Nami! Also though, it's nice to see her adopted mother again and adopted sister. It's been ages since I last saw them, so it was a nice treat. It may not be canon, but this is the best kind of filler. I'd really think Oda would have approved this, because it's basically filling in small bits from what he created originally in the manga. Putting a surprising amount of animation into this moment. At least Luffy did genuinely apologise for wrecking some of her maps. He knew how important they were to her via her reaction, and so obviously felt really bad. Chopper's reaction to the threat, bless his heart! thought that a filler episode would contain one of the most adorable and sad moments for Chopper. He really wanted to tell her about the storm but he didn't want the fine. So cute! As always everyone working together like this is an easy win for me. You keep giving me longer episodes because of no recap and I'll keep giving you wins. Correct me if I'm wrong but I don't recall this track ever being in the anime either and it's again really lovely. I really enjoyed seeing how they did so many different angles and shots whilst trying to squeeze through these marine ships. We got up high ones, first person, shots from the middle looking out, and more. Oh my god, her ability is so cool though, isn't it? Even a scene as simple as this, when this music is used to back it, literally made me tear up. It never fails to get me. My mind just floods with images and feelings from various episodes and moments. It's too long to show, but the kid says Sanji shouldn't be a chef on such a rundown ship. Usopp says, hey, this ship is from Syrup Village, and Chopper says, is it sweet? <laughs> That's worth one for me. Clever way to link this to Sanji, who himself as a young boy started to dream of the All Blue. At this moment, he's probably seeing his younger self in him. It's so strange how my brain works. I thought the same as Sanji and totally missed how Sanji then wouldn't be able to get back if he just left him there. Putting a fair bit of detail into this and in the process making it look completely different to what they have on their ship. Baby Sanji! Baby Sanji! 
Playing this purely because I loved to hear his voice again, he was such a unique character, and so seeing him again genuinely meant a lot to me here. Just a simple win here. I liked seeing Sanji teach the kid in his own way that his own master didn't do for him. It's like he felt this was a better way to teach, and he does it like five times. This made for a nice final moment between these two, and it felt like seeing Sanji go back to his childhood as he said this and smiled. In all honesty, this shocked me. I felt it was cartoonish. He cracked into the wall, it'll never be addressed, and then felt ashamed when Usopp did this and addressed it immediately. And even better than that, they also go on to show it from the inside. The little chopper is just staring at it. I love it. <laughs> then that little smile and chuckle from Robin there. Obviously enjoying her time with the crew so far. All these people will never see again, all looking different to one another. Considering it's filler, putting a surprising amount of detail into this painting behind them. Damn, what a simple but seriously good ED that turned out to be. The song grew on me as it went, plus we saw Robin as a lonely kid, then with the crew waking them up for a beautiful moment together. Lovely. Darth Weirdo, Mal Liao, Nick Windham, The Elementator Wars, Christopher Willis, Emmanuel Gonzalez, Fancy Turtle, Kepan, Mini Masher, Marquez, Nazomi, Orkeeper, Otter A. Bodonisi, Steelers, The Epic Commander, Bird Without a Word, Brandon Creer, Brian Bayot, Cameron, Christian Tuasa, Commander Chris, Doggos for Life, Dragonstorm 35, Aaron Winters, Guru Guru, I Am Here, James Tafoya, Your Edvinson, Kevin Elston, Comfoik, Kylie Wobb, Lisa Marie Timp, Luis Minito, Magnus, Mr. Mansu, Lightly Winter, Peter Milligan, Ruby Rose, Satakayari, Zion 44, Sean, The 100s, Tiger Lily Warrior, Sumi Bito, A Joker, Alexander Schwartz, Ali 50, Amadillo, Brainless Ben, Cecilia, Cedric, Cloud Garden, Dante Soul, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Def the Kid123, Devon, Dragon Defender, Esso, Garrett Vermish, Gibbs, Hope to Lose Ritter, Israel Caldera, Jason Davies, John John, Jaffa6263, Kelnock, Kevin Nelter, Kevink102, Knuckle Duster, Kai158, Kyle Jones, Laxor, Laxus, Liam Gagati, Lifty, Lionel Schultz, Marvin, Matthew Blancet, Michael Lewis, Modiverum, Monty, Mudini, Mr. Firecall, Natsu Dragneel, Nick Monaco, Nick Pell, 1928, Ollie the Mighty, Oliver Smiley Reacts, Oscar I. Lopez, Owen Haloran, Q Flash, Ryan DeVries, Sarcastic Truth, Snow, Stan, Storm970, TRS, The Danish Muggle, Thrasher340, Vernon Hogan, Will Sass, Willyman, 